got one from my IT client today. Uh, it's a pretty good one. Uh, we got 60 users in one location, 40 in the other. A couple off-site remote for cloud services. Uh, gonna talk to my client, Stuart. He's real happy. Uh, looking to meet next week. Hopefully we're gonna get a big proposal signed. Very excited. Yeah, so I got a couple appointments for my client up in Nebraska today. Uh, one was with like a, like a dairy producer. Um, they had about 30 users across six locations, and they currently use a couple of providers, but um, they're looking for somebody that you know can help with the locations that are in our area. So we're going to go in there and show them what we can do, hopefully get them something compared to with what they use right now. Um, the other one was a, another, um, you know, I think it's an electric company. Um, they currently have about 30 users and are using a, a company in our area, but it's more of a, a, com a company that you know has a lot of following, um, big following, and you know doesn't really get to their smaller clients. So, not really liking the response time. Um, we're gonna go in there next uh, next week and talk with them about our services and get them something prepared as well. So, just set one up for one of my clients in Ohio. Uh, it's with a manufacturer out there. Uh, it's pretty cool. I talked to him back in September. Um, at the moment, it didn't really make too much sense uh, for a conversation in his eyes. Uh, left him, uh, you know, my information, sent him an email. I uh, was actually going to follow up with him next month. Uh, he called me back, left a voicemail, uh, and he was in some dire need for some help. Uh, so I called him back, set up the appointment for today, actually. A uh, client gave him a call and set up an on-site for later this week. Uh, they have about 20 to 25 users. Uh, 30 or so uh, employees, 20 or 25 devices. Uh, so it should be a pretty good one. So uh, I got a few appointments today. The first one, Boys and Girls Club out in Connecticut. Um, they have you know stuff in place already, but they were looking to have comparative services. And I got a hold of the uh, COO out there. She was more than willing to talk and wanted to meet after the first of the year. So we'll see about that one. Um, Queen, I had a, another one here in with my new client in that. I think North Carolina. Um, it is a home health care facility that they a little bit smaller. They're I think about 10 users, but they don't have um, too much in place as far as structure goes for uh, compliance. So we're going to go out there and see what ways we can help yeah. out cybersecurity wise and some of the day to day management. And then the third one um, is a church uh, in Denver. We're going to go out and meet with them. They don't really have too much in place as far as backups for IT. Um, it's one of those like, cybersecurity. I don't know how much you need of the church, but um, you know when you do need it, that's kind of when uh, you know, things get rough. So we're going to go out there and see what ways we can help them out. And um, I think there are about 15 to 20 workstations or users um, on staff there. So it should be pretty good. Got one today for my client in North Carolina. It's with a research organization. About 20 users spoke to the uh, IT director over there. Um, not currently working with a company like us, but was pretty interested in hearing what we could do um, working alongside them. So, like you said, about 20 users. I think they've got two or three physical servers on premise at one location. Um, that meeting is set for the first week of January, so my CEO is going to hop on the screen share with them. And it just should be a pretty good one. All right, so I got one from my client this morning, uh, SEO. Uh, they were looking to basically get out of in-house and push it off to someone else. And uh, looking for SEO, digital marketing, and website design. And uh, yeah, looks like it's going to be a pretty good one. So got one from my client down in mid-Missouri today. Um, it's actually with a dental practice, pretty large dental practice, uh, about 14, 15 users. Uh, they see about 60 plus clients a day. And, um, they currently have a fully um, MSP serviced um, IT infrastructure and, and have some pain points in terms of uh, response time and their IT company. It uh, seems that they don't know 100% what they're doing when it comes to the software that this dental practice uses. So um, they were interested in having an uh, owner come out and, and just talk to them and see if we could engage anywhere, see if we could be of value. So I'm uh, looking forward to hearing how it goes. Should be a pretty good one. I just got off the phone with an Austin based firm. Um, they are within the MSP parameters. Uh, we are going to be servicing them potentially with SEO work and website design. They need a website update pretty bad. Um, I'm connected to Dennis with them for a couple of weeks from now. Uh, looking forward to get a proposal out to them soon. Well, I've been getting a few appointments lately for a client that I have on the East Coast. They're doing cybersecurity and compliance for some of the FTC guidelines that have changed. And um, we're doing kind of like a group training session. And so I set up four of those today and about five of them last week for people to get together and learn about the law and hopefully hire us to, to help them with some of those changes. So 
Uh, we'll see how it goes. The actual session is for tomorrow, so fingers crossed. I had a great conversation with Kim, uh, the CTO of a financial brokerage, and uh, they actually recently had a malware attack on their in-ground servers. They made the cloud-based computing. Uh, we were looking to be their full-service MSB cybersecurity partner going forward. They also don't have their FTC compliance laws in place, and we're looking to update that as well. That's going to be a great conversation, which is for next week on Tuesday.